Good morning. I am Patrick Mitzenberg, working for the Center for Student Breaker Rights, an NGO which is based in Geneva and support national NGOs to better interact with the Human Rights Committee. I am today with Madame Motok. She is a member of the Human Rights Committee and also NGO Focal Point, and she will tell us more about the role of the NGOs in the work of the Human Rights Committee. Good morning, Madame Motok. Yeah, Patrick. I would like to learn more about how the NGO could better interact with the Human Rights Committee and what is their role and how they can be effective in the state reporting procedure. Um, as I said before in French, I think uh, that the, the NGOs are, are fundamental for the work in, in human, human rights. And you see more and more in the Human Rights Committee that the NGOs start to, to speak with us and start to consider us really as an interlocutor, a true interlocutor. And uh, what happened is that I see in the last years a lot of evolution and this is uh, because you had done a lot of work for, for this kind of evolution and you had coordinated all these NGOs to come. And I see the evolution because I think they are less shy than before to speak with us. So they come see each session, they send us information, they come, we do informal meeting with them, and afterwards even sometimes they speak with us during the report, the, the report process, to say us this information to come back to the states. And I think because I had worked before at the Subcommission of Human Rights, there were a lot of NGOs there, if you may remember. We had a room there of 1,000 NGOs. And I think it's the way that I am used to work, and I think it's the best way you know to use I also as a special reporter I use I do to work with angels all the time and is there where I find all the information that uh, I need so I think we are in a good process here in uh, in the human rights committee thank you when the NGO can send the information to the committee before the process and during the process the NGO can send uh, the, the information to the committee before the process and we take into account this information when we are doing the list of questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course that during the, the, the process as well, because they come here in Geneva and we speak with them, so we have another kind of round of information. And I think that uh, speaking with NGOs here, it's very important because if we have never been in the country, we see the people in the country really. And through that, them, we see also how the victim can speak and we see all this atmosphere that is around violation of human rights which for me is fundamental in order to understand human rights you know kind of empathy that you have with the country with the victims they give you all the background to understand, really understand human rights and is it possible for the NGOs to be also involved in the follow-up procedure how they can then follow up the implementation of the recommendation of the committee, they have a role to play. Of course they have a role to play and they play this role, they start to play this role. You had organized the first visit, a follow-up visit, and I think that in this follow-up visit uh, you, had you had spoken with the NGOs before and afterwards with the government and I think this is the way that we have to do things because once we do this visit and I think we had to do more and more visits like this, the government became aware about you know which kind of recommendation were implemented, what happened and it's, it's a, a kind of other, other uh, access that we have to, to, to NGOs and sometimes they send us immediately after the report what they think about the report so we can we can correct if something is wrong or we can think about other things when we go on the field to see things and for me I think human rights are very much also not only theoretical but also in the field and I think that the human rights committee had moved to the field to the NGOs you know with uh, with your work as well. Thank you very much Madame Matok for your uh, explanation and I think it's really support the work of the NGOs to be better involved and committed to the Human Rights Committee activities. Thank you. Thank you very much.